Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know how it resonates with your circumstance. So I want to talk to you all, chosen, about the naysayers who often ask the question, what does it mean to be chosen? In a very condescending way or... You know, um, those who come in and say, well, how do you know you're chosen? Or even those who say, well, everybody is chosen. I'm sure that you all have heard these things. And I want to address this because in every other area of life, people are very comfortable with selecting those who are pro appropriate for a particular task. That's what chosen means. Chosen means that you are selected as the best or the most appropriate for a particular task or a position. And so, and so in the 3D, everyone is on board with selecting someone for a position. Everybody is on board with that, whether it's selecting a president, which many of the chosen don't even subscribe to that anymore, or whether it's selecting the pastor of a church or selecting the board member of a committee or selecting, you know, the, the, the chairman or selecting whatever, right? Everybody is on board with selecting those who are equipped for that particular task or position until you get to the chosen. And it's largely because this position comes from the source. This position comes from the most high mother and father who created all, all that exists. So this is the boss. There is none higher. And so when you have been selected by the most high to carry out tasks and assignments that only you can carry out, it creates jealousy, it creates envy, it creates hatred, okay? It creates a whole lot of unhealthy emotions and feelings towards you as a chosen seed because you have an assignment that only you can fulfill and you have been granted that assignment by the source, the creator, the alpha, the omega, the all. And that is highly intimidating for many people. But it's because the most high mother and father understood who you were as they was creating you. The most high understood that you would have everything necessary in order to carry out the assignment because it was created within your makeup, in your DNA. From the moment that you were thought of, you had everything that you needed. And so this is not, you're not chosen because you became a better person. You're not chosen because you uh, got yourself in shape and because you got yourself educated. And because you created a channel or because you d started doing spiritual work. No, you was chosen before you even understood you were chosen. <laughs> you see, you don't have control over being a chosen seed because you was chosen as a seed at the point, at the moment, even before conception, before you were even a seed, you were already chosen. So when you hear people say chosen seed, this is out of your control. You came here, the Most High literally crafted you with particular energy, with particular DNA, with uh, particular light, with particular, you know, structures and cell makeup and, you know, way of thinking and everything was literally created and crafted outside of your control. And so when people are out here feeling jealousy and envy towards the chosen seed, it's because they simply were not 
chosen for the task by this wonderful high source mother and father. And when they're in that energy of envy and jealousy, it's more of the reason to understand why they are not chosen. Because of who they are. And this is not a, I'm better than you, you know, I'm superior to you. That's not what this is all about. This is about the most high understanding and knowing what's best for humanity. And knowing who would be the ones to ultimately carry out the assignment and accept the assignment. The chosen seed had to go through a whole lot to go through that transformation and to awaken because you come into a world as this seedling that has a mission, right? And so you get all of these low vibrational energies that's literally planted in your home surrounding you doing everything possible to suppress that power that the Most High has granted you to suppress that remembrance of who you are and what you came here to do. All throughout your life, from a seedling on through adulthood, you're surrounded by many different scenarios and situations that wants to keep you asleep because the powers that were understand that they must use pawns to keep you from rising into your divinity and coming into remembrance of your divine assignment because your assignment is very necessary and it is highly intense intimidating to those who have held their positions of power through wickedness. You come in with a light that only you possess because the most high placed that spark within you at the time of your conception. And so to be a chosen seed, it is a gift but it is a lot of challenges that comes with that position because you have to fight against so much opposition. It's not a battle that you're in by yourself, though. You have the most high in your spiritual team always ready to back you, but you have to come into a remembrance of who you are first. That's the hardest part of being a chosen seed is coming into remembrance that you have a divine assignment. And then coming out of conditioning and illusions about who you was told that you were breaking free from those chains and strongholds. Then you got to break the generational curses and the spell works that was placed over your lineage so that you as that Messiah that was, that would, that would eventually come through that lineage would be sacrificed because the chosen have always been under sacrifice, whether it was literally taking you up out of here or sacrificing your wisdom, sacrificing your gifts, sacrificing your abundance and your inheritance, sacrificing your love life and your family lineage. There's always opposition against the chosen. And so this is not no dressed up thing where everybody should be all up in arms because the most high chose, listen, the most high chose you chosen because you would be able to overcome the adversity and the pushback and the oppression and the jealousy and the envy and the malicious attempts to attack you, to attack your mind, the spiritual warfare, you would be able to overcome it and still rise into your divinity and still have integrity and still have humility and compassion. And after all of that, you would still fulfill your assignment as being the generational curse breaker and step into your position without moaning and groaning and saying, woe is me. You would overcome victimhood mentality and you would carry out that position. You, only you. And so while there's so many people out here who have an issue with the chosen, they should be, they should be happy that they were not selected for the position because many of them would have folded from the very beginning. The chosen seed have testimonies that only chosen seed can overcome. The chosen seed have been buried I'm telling you times a thousand have been buried a thousand times and have risen and outgrown a thousand times. Why? Because when you bury a chosen seed, what does the chosen seed do? They only grow. But you better believe the amount of transformations and healing 
and and awakening and you know clearing out false illusions the amount of work that the chosen seed would have to do to come into realization of who they are and what they've been placed here to do goes well beyond what most people would be able to withstand the most high knew mother and father knew exactly what they were doing when they gave you the assignment as the chosen seed of your lineage And so everybody wants to glamorize it. Everybody wants to make it seem as if you're running around, you know, saying, oh, I'm a chosen. Most chosen seed don't even go around saying they're chosen. And even I, when I come forward and bring these messages here, the only reason why I address the chosen specifically is because when the chosen seed come into that space of awakening, you need a voice that's going to let them know, yes, what you are feeling is real. Yes, what you are experiencing is real. Yes, those spiritual downloads are real. Yes, those intuitive nudges about those karmics that's surrounding you is real. Yes, you have a divine assignment. Yes, you was chosen for a divine mission and purpose. Yes, those angel numbers are showing you that your spiritual team, your angels and your ancestors are surrounding you and guiding you. Yes, you're being called to leave that career that you've hated for so long because that nudge that you have to be a healer and a teacher and a guide for others is real. Yes. And so we have to have particular messages that address the chosen directly because the world and the, the powers that were have been putting in work conspiring on ways to make you believe that you are nothing more than right? Nothing more than a peon, nothing more than oppressed, nothing more than inferior. That's what the powers that were have been working on for a very, very long time to prevent the messiahs from awakening to their divine assignment. And so we need a voice. We need many voices. And that's why I always encourage the chosen to come forward and let your light shine before the world. Speak your testimony. Speak your truth. Tell the world about your spiritual journey and your awakening because it's going to help other chosen seed. It's going to trigger something within them. It's going to remind them of something about themselves. It's going to help them to understand that this journey, they're not walking it alone, even though it feels lonely. So are the chosen seed real? You most definitely know that the chosen seed are real because the chosen have been selected for a divine task. The most high mother and father found you to be appropriate for the assignment and you are. You will fulfill your assignment here. You will not selfishly withhold your vessel from being used to carry out these divine assignments because you understand that it's bigger than you. You understand that humanity depends on you awakening and accepting your position. And so it's so important for us to come into that realization and to accept it for what it is. If you can accept beings being hand selected by so-called people in position of power to take on certain assignments here in the 3D, then you most certainly have no choice but to accept that the most high mother and father creator of all, the highest authority of all has made a decision to hand select particular spirits having a human experience to carry out particular assignments and missions. And for those people who have an issue with it, they're not boxing. You're not boxing with the chosen. It needs to be taken up with the most high mother and father. And you don't want to even attempt to box with the most high mother and father in terms of their decision. And so this is why you have all of these beings out here that's trying to create spiritual warfare against the chosen because they don't want you to accept your assignment. They don't want to accept the fact that you've been accepted for the assignment. And so they'll send all types of spell work and stumbling blocks your way thinking that, oh, well, if, if this person is so chosen, then let's just see if they can overcome this energetic manipulation that I'm about to send. Let's see if they can overcome this wicked ritual of these demonic beings that I'm about to conjure up. And they're fine. Finding out very fast 
that they messing with the wrong ones. They're finding out very fast that you truly are protected. They're finding out very fast that the most high has shielded you and has granted you the internal strength, infinite strength that keeps on giving to protect yourself. They're finding out very fast that you are not to be played with chosen. So that's my message for you all. Keep growing, keep thriving, you know, don't feel bad about who you are and don't let anybody else make you feel bad about who you are. Accept who you are with boldness and authority and know that the most high mother and father never makes any mistakes. You have been selected. It is truly a gift and it has been very difficult coming into that realization and accepting it has been a hard life. You got many testimonies to bring forward, but you have been tried through that fire and you come out on the other side as a diamond. That's my message. I love you all. Like and subscribe. I'll talk to you next time.